Many a man curses the rain that falls upon his head, and knows not that it brings abundance to drive away the hunger. When someone steals another's clothes, we call them a thief. Should we not give the same name to one who could clothe the naked and does not? The bread in your cupboard belongs to the hungry. The coat unused in your closet belongs to the one who needs it. The shoes rotting in your closet belong to the one who has no shoes. The money which you hoard up belongs to the poor. A tree is known by its fruit, a man by his deeds. A good deed is never lost. He who sows courtesy reaps friendship, and he who plants kindness gathers love. There is only one way out of this, namely, total separation from all the world. But withdrawal from the world does not mean physical removal from it. Rather, it is the withdrawal by the soul of any sympathy for the body. One becomes stateless and homeless. One gives up possessions, friends, ownership and property, livelihood, business connection, social life and scholarship. The heart is made ready to receive the imprint of sacred teaching, and this making ready involves the unlearning of knowledge deriving from evil habits. To write on wax, one has first to erase the letters previously written there, and to bring sacred teaching to the soul, one must begin by wiping out preoccupation rooted in ordinary habits. You showed no mercy, it will not be shown to you. You opened not your house, you will be expelled from the kingdom. You gave not your bread, you will not receive eternal life. And what then? One night, a fever, a pleurisy, or an inflammation of the lungs snatches away this man from the midst of men. Stripped in a moment of all his stage accessories, and all this, his glory, is proved a mere dream. Therefore, the prophet has compared human glory to the weakest flower. <laughs> 